talk today, I discussed um, a variety of new avenues that we're developing, uh, treatments of bladder cancer in particular, uh, two um, areas of active research. One is uh, the contribution of bevacizumab, uh, which is a VEGF uh, um, antibody, um, which has been studied in two uh, phase two trials uh, with metastatic bladder cancer in combination with chemotherapy. That has been shown some promising results. It is now being tested in a phase three randomized trial uh, supported by CLGB and the intergroup that um, is nearing uh, completion of a pool and should have some promising results in the next couple of years. And also uh, a novel compound called OGX427, which is an antisense oligonucleotide against HSP27, uh, which is a heat shock protein uh, implicated in cell cellular protection against stress and chemotherapy resistance. The hypothesis is that uh, HS I'm sorry, OGX427 added to uh, chemotherapy could improve sen uh, the sensitivity of, of uh, uh, the tumor to chemotherapy. And so it's being tested both in the first line setting as well as the second line setting in combination with chemotherapy. And then lastly, I discussed um, uh, an area that is of active research in, in cancer, which is uh, an area of genomic, genomic profiling. And specifically, I discussed um, uh, the identification of a, a mutation in TSC1 and NF2 uh, which was found in a complete responder to Everlines therapy in metastatic bladder cancer. This is the first um, instance of such a report, and I discussed uh, how uh, the identification of that particular mutation as a biomarker for sensitivity to Everlines therapy could um, serve as the basis for future studies uh, of selected trials in that patient population.